Hi there, everyone, and welcome to Lama's Day Family Yoga Center. I'm your teacher, Bill, and I'm going to be taking you through a brief practice on yoga to relieve lower back pain. You might be wondering why I'm sitting here at a desk wearing jeans, wearing regular everyday clothes. And the reason why is because this practice is going to show you how yoga can, is not only for everyone, but it can be done anywhere and at any time. Today we're going to do this practice in a chair. And the advantage of this, to this is uh, if you have a busy schedule where you have to be at a desk or you're home while your kids are homeschooling and it's very hard for you to get to a studio or to change yoga gear and find a big space, you can do this right at your desk where you're sitting and standing and it doesn't take long and you don't even need a mat. This is perfect for anyone who has a heavy, hectic schedule. And you can do this during your lunch break. Of course, I recommend uh, doing this before your lunch break, waiting two hours after having a meal. Or you can do this first thing when you're getting your desk or midday for, for a nice uh, reset and a stretch. Are you ready? Let's begin. So I'm going to face you and let's come to a comfortable seated position in your chair. If you prefer, you can stand also. If you're wearing shoes, you can leave them on. It's, uh, it's preferable if you take them off, especially if you're wearing heels. Close your eyes and come forward onto your chair, placing your feet flat on the floor and take deep belly breaths, breathing in and out. Notice your breath coming through your nostrils, your belly expanding and as you exhale, your belly empties, making room for your next breath. Inhale and exhale, using your breath to set the rhythm throughout your practice today. Breath is very important as it cleanses you. When you inhale, you bring in new energy and the hairs of your nostrils are blocking out any impurities and dust. And as you exhale, you send any toxins and impurities into the air. Let's do some cat-cow poses now, and I'm going to turn to the side so you can see what I'm doing. This is normally done on your hands and knees. It's very easily done for your chair. So inhale, bring your shoulders back, your chest forward, gazing up, arching your lower back. And exhale, rounding your back, turning your gaze towards your belly. Inhale, arch your back, turn your gaze up. Your shoulders back and exhale rounding your back tucking your chin in towards your navel inhale for one more cow arching your back your shoulders back chest forward pressing on the balls and heels of your feet and exhale rounding coming forward come to a neutral seated position and I'm going to turn and face you so you can see what I'm doing. Yeah, let's move this little guy to the side a little bit. And then create more room for your arms. Inhale, reach your arms up over your head for a deep shoulder stretch. Extend your shoulders back, send your legs up and flex and point your ankles. This is great for your calves. It's also great for your ankles. If you're sitting at a desk all day, if you're standing and walking, you're putting a lot of pressure on your ankles everywhere you go. And this is a great way to relieve them and to, and to reinvigorate them. If your feet are clockwise, counterclockwise. Inhale for deep breath and exhale. Bring your arms back down and come down into a forward fold. Bring your knees apart a little bit to allow your belly to fall. This is the equivalent of a child's pose. And you bring your hands down to your toes or your ankles. Relax your neck, lengthen your back. Inhale and exhale, deepening that child's pose. Inhale, come back up and we're gonna do six direction of the spine. What we did 
our cat cows, we did front and back of our spine. Your spine moves in six different directions, and I'm going to show you how. So let's inhale, bring both arms up into the air, and interlace your fingers. You can do a palm stretch, or you can come into a temple pose. And you don't necessarily have to do this sitting at your desk. You can do this standing if you want. So we're going to do some side stretches. So inhale for a deep breath. And exhale, reaching over to your right side. Send your hips out to the left. And inhale, coming back to the center. And exhale, over to the right. And I'll show you how you can do the sitting down. Exhale, over to the right side. And inhale, come to the center. And exhale, over to the left. And inhale back to the center. Make sure your shoulders are rotated away from your ears, that your biceps are alongside your ears. And exhale, coming over to the right, send your hips out to the left. And inhale back to the center. And exhale over to the left, send your hips out to the right. And inhale back to the center. Release your arms and come down into a forward fold. And exhale and inhale. Reverse swan your arms back up. Let's now do side to side twists. So let's inhale and bring your right knee in towards your chest. And exhale, bring your right leg down and bring your left hand over onto your right thigh. And bring your right hand in back, or you can bring it on the side of the chair. And exhale, twist over to your right side. You can turn your gaze over to your right, or you can look over to your left shoulders, your shoulders perpendicular to the chair. I'm going to gaze over my left shoulder so I can see you. You can see me. Inhale. And exhale, deepening the twist. Inhale, loosening. Inhale, deepening, feeling that nice bend in your that nice twist in your spine. And for more deep breath, inhale and exhale. Let's come back to the center and let's twist slightly to our left side to release any tension and come back to the center. Let's do a full body stretch, reaching your arms up, inhaling, and bring your legs up. You want and exhaling. Reversing, swanning yourself down. Inhale, lie body, come up, reverse, swan your arms up. And exhale. You can bring your hands to, hands to your heart center in prayer or on your knees. Now let's do a left side twist. So inhale, bring your left knee into your chest. We're going to do a, be doing a lot of these bends. As these are great for activating your hip flexors and your quads and your hamstrings. Now exhale, bring your left leg back down and twist over to your left side. I'm gonna look at this guy over here. Hello. Inhale, releasing your twist and exhale, deepening your twist over to your left side. Now I'm gonna look over the opposite to the shoulder. Inhale, slightly releasing, allowing your body to fill, and as you exhale, you're creating space to deepen your twist. Let's do one more deep breath. Inhale, and exhale, twisting. Now inhale, twist down to the opposite side, releasing any tension. Inhale, reach both your arms up over your head, and exhale, hands to your heart center in prayer, or on your knees. How are you feeling? We're now going to do some back hip flexor stretches. So we're going to start by crossing our legs. So cross your right leg over your left. Just relax. It's like you're sitting down on the sofa watching the TV or reading the paper. And grip your right ankle in your left hand, placing your left hand under, or you can place it on the side of your foot, and your right hand goes on your knee. Press down, pushing up on your ankle, pressing down your knee, activating your right side hip flexor. 
Continue to focus on your breath as you're moving your leg around. And now inhale, reach your right arm up over your head and exhale, bring your right arm in between your two thighs and you can bring your hand to reach one side of your shin. Inhale and exhale, bring your left hand down to meet your right. You can interlace your fingers on the outside or on the inside. Now I'm going to turn to the side again so you can see. Inhale, allow yourself a slight raise, and exhale, coming down. I'm going to put my hands on either side of my calf. As you inhale, allow your body to slight lift, lift, and as you exhale, allow your body to empty, deepening your bend. Inhale one more time, and exhale, deepening. Inhale, allow your torso to come up slowly. And exhale, return to a neutral seated pose. Let's do the same on the opposite side. So let's cross our left leg over our right and place your hand on your knee and place your right hand underneath your, uh, underneath your foot and push up on your, right, your left foot and push down on your left knee. Noticing how your hip flexor feels. Until you inhale and exhale, you move your ankle around if you want. And now inhale, reach your left arm up and exhale. Bring your left hand down in between your two legs, threading the needle. And then place the opposite hand, the right on either side. You place them alongside your calf. Or you can interlace them on the outside or the inside. Yogi's choice. Yoga is all about Learning about your choices as different variations in every pose because yoga is for everyone. And part of the journey in yoga is finding what is most comfortable and nourishing to you and what gives you the highest benefit. Inhale for deep breath and exhale, deepening your pose. Inhale and exhale. And notice how your lower back feels. Engage your core. Inhale and exhale. See how far you can bring your forehead down. Flex the muscles of your abdominal. This helps deepen your pose. Inhale. And exhale, deepening. Inhale, allow your body to come up. And let's bring your arms up. And let's come to a full stretch. Bring your legs up. Ah. And exhale. Into a seated Tadasana. This is a great place if you want to come into a child's pose or if you want to even stand up and do a little stretch before going into our next sequence, which is going to be our seated eagle pose. You might be familiar already with doing eagle pose standing. It's a balance pose. So we're going to, I'm going to show you how to do this seated. So now place, we're going to cross our right leg over our left again. And you can start out in this position. Or you can do it with both feet on the ground. Or I prefer bringing my, my left calf underneath my right and crossing my right leg over. If you have a flexibility, this is a great way to begin the pose. Inhale, reach both arms up into the air. And exhale, bring your left Elbow down and bring your right to come inside your left and bring your hands together. If your body doesn't allow as much flexibility for your hands to meet, that's fine. And bring your the outside of your right hand against your forehead. And allow your shoulders to come back. Allow your back to come straight. Engage your core, supporting your spine. And inhale and exhale. Try flexing your right foot. This helps deepen your pose. And pointing in your 
toes on your left foot. Inhale, looking straight ahead. Your right hand against your third eye and exhale. Inhale. Exhale two. Inhale. Exhale three. Release your pose and bring both legs on the floor. Let's come into a full body stretch. Inhaling, reaching up your arms, your legs, and exhale, coming into a forward fold. Come up once again, reaching your arms up, your legs up if you want, and exhale into a Tadasana. So now we did one side on our seated eagle pose, and we're gonna do the other side. And whichever side, whichever way you sat for one, do the same exact for the other as we always want to keep balance on both sides. So I'm going to cross my right leg under my left and bring my left leg over. Inhale, reach both arms up and exhale. Bring your right elbow down and then your left inside your right. Remember, everyone has different flexibilities based on this shoulder. So if you can't get your hands to come together or close together, don't worry. Bring your hand against your forehead and your third eye. Relax your shoulders, engage the muscles of your core, supporting your lower back. Allow your pelvis to shift forward slightly. Imagine, even though you're sitting down, that a string is pulling you up towards the sky. Inhale. And exhale, one. Inhale, flex the, your left ankle. Exhale, two. You can flex your right ankle. You can point your toes. Exhale, three. And next, inhale. Release your arms and your legs. And allow yourself a full body stretch. Reaching your arms up, your shoulders back. Your legs up, flexing, pointing your ankles and coming back down into a forward fold. And let's use this time to get into a child's pose. So I'll bring your legs apart and bring your hands down. You can bring your elbows into the opposite hand if you don't want to touch the floor. Or you can bring your hands along your feet. And this is actually going to prepare you for the next pose. Allow yourself to come slightly up until you're in a wide leg and half lift. Now place your hands over your feet and place your elbows on the inside of your legs just below your knee. Inhale for deep breath and exhale, pushing out your knees. Engage your core, notice that arch in your lower back. Inhale and exhale. Sending more resistance to your legs. Bring your knees, begin to bring your knees in against your arms and use your elbows to send your knees out. Inhale for one more deep breath and exhale. Now inhale, release, and drop your head down until you see the child's pose. Release your arms and slowly work your way back up. Reaching your arms up and your legs up into the sky, inhaling and exhaling. We'll now prepare for our next sequence. And this can be done standing or sitting. I'm going to do the standing so you can see exactly how my fingers are. So interlace your fingertips like this. And you can place your right index finger on top of your left index finger and your right thumb on top of your right thumb. And now bring your hands interlaced behind your back. I'll show you how you can do this sitting. And these are called rising and setting suns. Inhale, bring your shoulder blades together, arch your back. Turn your chest forward, your gaze up, 
And exhale, rounding your back, bring your shoulders forward, your neck down, if you're standing. Inhale, bring your shoulders back, arching your back, bring your hands up. And exhale, round your shoulders, chin towards your belly. And your hands down towards your sit bones. And once again, inhale. Interlacing your fingers, bringing them up. And exhale for one more time. Let's release the grip in the hands. And now we're going to shift our fingers. So if your right finger was on top of your, your right index finger was on top of the left, let's shift your left index finger on top of your right and cross your left thumb on top of your right. This may not seem like a big deal, but it actually, but this actually helps you align on both sides of your body. So now let's inhale. I'm going to start this off sitting down. Allow your shoulder blades to come together. Bring your chest forward. Gazing up, arching your back, and exhale. Rounding your back, gazing towards your belly. Inhale, bring your shoulder blades to meet, your chest forward, shoulders back, gazing up and exhale, rounding your back, gazing towards your belly. And for one more time, rising sun, I'm gonna do this standing. So I wanna bring my arms up for this shoulder stretch, arching your back, looking up your chest forward, exhaling, rounding your back, your hands back to your sit bones. Your gaze turned towards your belly. Let's release our grip and shake everything out and prepare for our next pose, which is gonna bring us into our Savasana pose. This is called Lion's Breath. It's one of my favorite. It's all about breathing, setting in renewed energy and expelling the old tired energy. So let's bring our fingers together, interlacing them. You only have to do it one way. And now come slightly forward onto your hips and bring your joints underneath your chin. Inhale for deep breath. Allow your elbows to come up. And exhale, lines, breath, full breath. Bring your elbows into meat. Inhale, bring your elbows up, stretching your lower back, engaging your core. And exhale, your shoulders come to meet. And four more lines, breath, inhale, bring your elbows up. See how far up they can come towards your ears, push, pressing against your chin. And exhale, lower down. Release your grip. And let's come into one last full deep body stretch, inhaling, reverse twining your arms up, bring your legs up, flexing and pointing your toes, and exhaling, coming back down into a forward fold. And let's come into one last child's pose. Allow your knees to open, allow your belly to sink in between your knees, you bring your hands down, or you can bring around your ankles, and we'll do like uh, we'll do a seated happy baby, rocking side to side, pick your heels up off the floor, pressing down on the balls of your feet. Inhale for one more full body deep body stretch, and exhale into your seated Savasana pose. This is the last pose of the practice and it's the most important. To some of you it might be the easiest because you're sitting still. For some of you it might be the hardest because you're thinking to yourself, okay, do I have to get back to my desk, whatever. And it's very challenging for some people to sit, sit still for five to 10 minutes, even five minutes, even three minutes. So we're gonna do a brief Savasana because this is a brief practice. And let's find a breath, inhaling and exhaling. 
and relaxing. Light shoulders come back. Rest the balls and your heels of your feet on the earth or on the carpet or whatever your floor is. Line the energy to travel from your toes up your feet, up your ankles and your shins, around your knees and your thighs. Rejuvenating, reinvigorating, oxygenating. Allow it to come to your hips and turn any tension towards the body that might need the extra love and care. Allow your energy to travel up your belly towards your solar plexus and your chest. Over to your shoulders. Move your shoulders back and forth. And down your arms, your forearms. Your fingers, you move your fingers around. And allow it to travel back up. Focusing your breath, sending oxygen around to all your organs in your body. Letting energy to come over your shoulders, your neck, and over your facial muscles. Relax your facial muscles. Smile and move your eyebrows up, keeping your eyes softly closed. Allow it to come to your temples and if you want many times the and I come around I give my students a tap and massage but since we're doing virtual I'm going to show you how you can do it yourself you're going to turn to the side and place your thumbs over your temples and your fingers over here and just push up push up your forehead over your third eye through your crown and over the sides of your head Notice how that feels if you have essential oils with you. This is a great place to do that. And it's a little lavender. It's a great option for that. Continue breathing in and out. And bring your hands back down to your lap. Or you can interlace your fingers. Inhale and exhale. As your body renews every part of you, your old, tired energy leaves your body. And focus in on yourself. Any worries, anything that seems urgent, that might not be urgent. And you feel like more can be accomplished in less time. Nothing is worth a worry. Find a few more rounds of breath. When you're ready, you can seal your practice. Move your shoulder blades around. Move your fingertips, your wrists. Move your hips and bring your knees up and down. And kick. Move your ankles around, your toes. And allow yourself a full, deep body stretch as we come into a seated prayer pose, sealing our practice. And you can place your hands on your knees if you prefer. Thank you for practicing with me today, and I hope I hope this is practice has done so much for you and relieved stress and gets you focused on the rest of the day. Give me your thumbs to your third eye, and to your heart center in prayer. Have a wonderful day. Lamaste. So how was that for you? Was that comfortable? Tune into our website for more practices like these and many others from our great and exceptional staff. Thank you and Lamaste.